Hello everybody, my name is Daniel Schreiner and I'm a pianist. My name is Elias Rodriguez and I'm a clarinetist. And we are coming live from the Fondation des Etats-Unis in Paris, France. And we've prepared a very special program for you today. We're very excited to present to you a concert featuring the works of African-American composers in solidarity with the Black Lives Matter movement happening across the United States and the world. Yes, so we'll play three short pieces and then afterwards uh, we'll say a few words about some organizations that we hope you will consider donating to as part of this. Hope you enjoy the concert. Thank you. The first piece we'll be performing this afternoon is by a composer called Betty Jackson King, who was a prolific composer of vocal works, including opera, oratorio, um, requiem, cantata. Um, and, a, and a number of art songs, one of which we'll be singing for you very shortly. Um, she, in addition to being an incredible musician, she was also a huge supporter of African-American musicians in classical music, including uh, during her tenure as the president of the National Association for Negro Musicians, which is um, an incredible organization which contributes to like, funding for education, um, just creating scholarships, creating opportunities, concerts, um, a number of, a number of, uh, a lot of great work that they do. And it's an organization that still exists today. And if you would like to consider donating, um, we will include a link to, to donate and like if you scroll down on this video. Um, in the meantime, here is In the Springtime by Betty Jackson King. Success in his career, 
uh, serving as a teacher and choir director at Tennessee Lane College, the Lincoln Institute in Jefferson City, Missouri, and the Hampton Institute of Virginia. As a composer, his works received acclaim, blending elements of the European uh, romantic style with American folk songs and spirituals. Dett joined the United Service Organization as a choral advisor to contribute to the war effort in supporting US troops during World War II. While traveling with them, he died of a heart attack in 1943. The work that I will play to you, uh, for you today is the Adagio Cantabile movement from his solo piano suite, Cinnamon Grove, composed in 1928. At the top of the score, he includes a quote from the Bible that goes as follows. When thou commandest me to sing, it seems that my heart would break with pride, and I look to thy face, and tears come to my eyes. Hope you enjoy. We'd just like to thank you again for tuning in to this afternoon's performance. We'd all like to thank the Fondation des États-Unis, the directors, and our cultural director for supporting us in this event. And we hope you enjoy.
this very final piece, In a Sentimental Mood, by Duke Ellington. Fund 
Network COVID-19 Emergency Response Fund. So I led that starting May 30th. The Emergency Response Fund is prioritizing supporting bail for protest support across the National Bail Fund Network. Um, and every day, community bail and bond funds raise money to free our friends and neighbors from local and county jails, as well as immigration jails. This is always urgent work, um, uh, as jails, prisons have been sites of violence and death. Although COVID-19 pandemic has only exacerbated this public health crisis, as I'm sure you're aware. So that's the first organization. The second is the National Police Accountability Project. This organization seeks to educate and inform the public about issues related to police misconduct, provide information resources for nonprofit and community groups who work with victims of police abuse, support legislative reform efforts aimed at raising the level of police accountability and create a forum for legal professionals and community organizations to come together and creatively work to end police misconduct. And the third organization I am also choosing in relation to June being Pride Month, um, the Sylvia Rivera Law Project. You know, all lives don't matter until black lives matter, and black lives don't matter until black LGBTQ plus lives matter. Um, the Sylvia Rivera Law Project works to guarantee that all people are free to self-determine their gender identity and expression, regardless of income or race, and without facing harassment, discrimination, or violence. The, uh, the project is a collective organization founded on the understanding that gender self-determination is inextricably intertwined with racial, so social, and economic justice. Therefore, we seek to increase the political voice and visibility of low-income people and people of color who are transgender, intersex, or gender non-conforming. Thank you very much, and I hope you will consider donating to one of these organizations.